What drew me to this project um, was, you know, realizing that so many people were touched by this story. I think a, a billion people were watching it and following it very closely. And I wondered, what is it about it that, you know, this particular story moved so many people around the world? And, you know, I wanted to find out myself by, by making the movie. I think, you know, working inside a mine, um, walking in every day at 6 a.m. And, and walking out of there at 10 p.m. really showed my cast what being a miner is, you know, so they really were experiencing what working inside a mine was. And also for the crew, I think it just, we just knew the whole time that we were in a dangerous place, that we were in a hard, tough place, and that just gave uh, everybody uh, an extra layer of what, you know, these men, these 33 men experienced in reality. I knew I had to deal with three worlds, completely different from each other and interacting the whole time. The world of the families, which were so important to keep the faith and the, the strength of the whole rescue alive. The, the group of the, the world of the miners, you know, below ground, completely separate from everything because they had no contact with the outside world for 17 days. And then the world of the rescuers, the government, the drillers, you know, which is very manly, you know, full of, you know, machi huge machines, you know. So this, uh, this, the balance, achieving the balance between the three worlds was something that was very delicate. In a drama for, for, for the big screen, you know, there are certain rules, you know, you have to stray away a little bit from reality in order to keep the movie, you know, at a pace, clear and entertaining and moving. But, you know, to do that, always with the conscious of what the real experience was and just keeping it as true to the essence and the spirit of this event. It's going to be a cinematic experience. That's the first thing. You know, we, we made a movie about everything that wasn't seen, you know, everything that we don't know about, everything that happened below ground. We, ne we were never there inside with them, you know, except for, you know, a few very dark videos. But, you know, being really down there with the guys the day that this collapse happened, you know, so there's huge action in that humongous, you know, accident of, you know, monstrous proportions, and then being with them for 17 days, really experiencing what it, what it is to have no food, you know, to be trapped, to have no contact with the exterior, and to be able to, to keep it together, you know, with all the difference that these guys had. That's something that we are gonna be part of, you know, it's very intimate in that sense.